1999, a remarkable discovery emerged when a potential missing link between dinosaurs and birds was unveiled. The extraordinary new specimen was dubbed Archaeoraptor. There was considerable excitement at the news. Even the prestigious publication National Geographic covered it. Then some killjoy noticed that the fossil's tail had been glued on and came from a different creature entirely. And so the short unhappy story of the Archaeoraptor came to an abrupt halt. But questions about birds and dinosaurs persisted and are the source of much confusion and some acrimony amongst paleontologists. Dinosaurs' skeletons, their footprints, so much about them, are reminiscent of birds that we can't help but wonder what links exist between them. Recent fossil discoveries in China suggest some dinosaurs, for at least a portion of their lives, had feathers. For many of us, this requires a bit of imagination. Envisioning our old friend Velociraptor, for instance, sporting feathers like some giant carnivorous chicken. Still, the existence of feathers doesn't necessarily mean they could fly, much less that they were birds. Feathers make excellent insulation, so it was probably just that. A little something extra to keep a cold dinosaur warm on a chilly Cretaceous evening. And the truth is, if you ask your local paleontologist, she'll likely tell you that technically speaking, what we think of as birds are actually modern day dinosaurs. Imagine that, real live dinosaurs hanging out in the backyard.